Hey guys, what's up? Today is garden tour time. Garden tour, garden tour, garden tour time. Also, we are going to be feeding our plants with, guess what? Coffee, all right? So just coffee. I'm going to be injecting coffee into our plants today with the soil so we can feed our plants today and we're going to water them of course but we need to feed them all right so we're going to use a syringe to do that so if you are ready guys to see how i feed my plants and of course the plane wants to fly over but if you want to see me feed my plants stay tuned guys Now we are in the other side of the garden, so I have some carrots coming up. I have some corn coming up, and I have some beans coming up, so I'm so happy for those. So we'll just go to the All right, guys, so we'll be back when we go to the other side of the garden. I'm going to finish up this side of the garden, and then we'll come back to the other side of the garden, okay? All right, guys, so on to our little garden tour we got going on here. Let's step down here. So these are the carrots that are coming up. I'm so excited for the carrots. I have to watch out because this dirt is so hard here. I have to put my carrot out. See, I broke the top off there. So I'll be trying to come out here and pluck the uh, leaves up so they can try to stand up out here. But they're growing. Okay. So those are my little carrots I got going on. I'm excited for my carrots. All right. Then we got some corn going on here. So we have uh, three stalks that came up. I'm excited for these. I did plant some more up here, so those will be coming up soon. And also along here, I have a uh, white onion, a red onion, and I think some lettuce. I'm not sure, but I know I have a red onion and a white onion. And I have some peas here coming up on my trellis, looking very good. All right, the eggplant is looking marvelous. As you guys can see, they're dry. You know, things are dry out here, so I'm going to water them. I wanted to feed them first, guys. You got to feed them first. So my eggplant is looking good, and I put stalked her up so she don't fall over. The tomatoes, guys. 
Look at that. Okay, turn it around. Look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? She has two beautiful bright orange red tomatoes on there. Absolutely gorgeous. So we'll be harvesting her soon. And she still has more flowers and more fruit. So I'm excited for her. Also, this one is finally, finally putting on some flowers. So I'm excited for her. I don't know why everything's a her, but I'm excited for it. Then that is my fig leaf tree back here. I chopped it all the way back and then it started to bloom out. So I'm excited for that. All right, now these are my cherry tomatoes. I have fruit there and I have plenty of flowers, so I cannot wait. This is the one I harvest the one cherry tomato off of. <laughs> She's looking good. Now this baby here, Let's get down some. So you can see them, these beauties here. Let's see if we can find them in the camera. Look at them. Aren't they just beautiful? I just love the design. Like it's, it's everything over here. And these are called, chocolate sprinkle cherry tomatoes. So I cannot wait to taste these here. This one was a sucker. I pulled it off and it just started growing and it's got some flowers on it. And I just stuck it back in its pot, same pot. But yeah, this is what this is looking like. I'm, I just cannot wait. I don't see any more fruit on her right now, but I do see lots of flowers on her. I'm sorry guys, you see lots of flowers on her. So I'm excited for that. But that fruit under there is just beautiful. So yeah, that's that. And these are my peppers. This one is the banana pepper. Let's see if we can find any type of fruit on her. I think the birds be eating this one because I did see some type of fruit at first, but now I don't see it at all. So somebody's been eating this one. So let's step over here to our candy cane peppers. All right, this isn't mold. This is the way they grow. These beautiful leaves with spots on them. But as you can see in there, there is a baby pepper in there. Um, there's just peppers growing all over this one here. Pepper right there, right there. And let's see, I think I've seen a lot of peppers. Like you can see them, they're small, but they're there. You can see that one down there. They're there. They're just so small right now. But I do have some coming up and I'm excited for those. All right, guys. So let's go on to the other side of the garden. Oh, no. Let's show you. Um, this is the spinach that I harvested. Um, I think she's done. And I'm just going to plant some more spinach in here. So, yeah, that's what she's looking like. I planted some chives in here, and I put a peach seed in here. So yeah, that's what's only going to be in here right now. Some of it's starting to pop up, the chives as you can see. So yeah, that's what's in here. So on to the next side of the garden. Okay guys, so this is the uh, bush plant that's supposed to be on your patio. It did nothing yet so far since I've had it. So I just put it all the way in the dirt and we're gonna see how that does. This is my blueberry plants. The leaves are looking beautiful on here. I'm not expecting too much, so hopefully this summer she does give me something. I'm just pulling off one of these. Dead. It's a dead twig. I don't need it. But she is beautiful. She's still lush, so I do like that about her. And, of course, back to this plant. This is the pomegranate plant, okay? And I did lose my one little pomegranate that was on there from the rain. But it's okay. She will grow back. Her leaves still look wonderful and good. Um, this is one little uh, lemon plant that I planted. I don't know what it's doing. And there's another one that I planted. But I want to show you guys my lemon plant and my banana plant that is in my green grow tent. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sweet potatoes are doing just fine. The potatoes are doing marvelous. 
marvelous. I don't care what you do with these things. It's just, they, they grow on marvelous. So I'm just gonna let them grow like a wild child. They're in a the bucket, I mean, um, grow back. So it's not like they're gonna spread all over the place. So just gonna leave them like they are and let them continuously grow until they all the way die back. And then I will be ready to harvest those things for you guys. All right? And then here, so you guys seen the last time I harvest a lot of the collard greens and they just blossom right on back out. So the more you harvest these, the more they just continuously grow for you and big. All right? And I still cannot find that worm yet. I will find them. <laughs> I will find them. All right? And then we are on to our hanging basket cucumbers here. All right, guys? So let's see if we can find any cucumbers so far i don't even know what i'm looking for maybe they have to bloom out to a flower first if that's what the case is but they are looking nice after the bird wanted to take a bathroom break on my plants so that's what they look like inside so okay guys and this one there all right this is my poor little, I'm not sure if this is cantaloupe or watermelon, but it's not doing too well. So we're still going to let it grow and see what it does. Okay, guys, we're going to see. And I did put these rugs down to absorb the dirt and stuff like that in the house. I'm coming out the house. Um, oh, yeah, I put some green onions down here, so we'll be waiting for those to grow. And then these are my cucumbers or watermelons, like, like I said, with, I'm not sure. But both of those are not doing too well because of the heat. I mean, the heat is just taking over. It's unbearable. The sun beams down so hard. I think I'm going to get me a shade cloth for both of these sides. Well, this is the side. I might get a shade cloth for this side of the uh, garden because, I mean, it's just, you see the leaf on this thing? I mean, they're just they're just tearing up my leaves. The sun is just bad on my leaves. All right, guys? Then over here, we do have some beautiful kale coming up. The blue kale vets, they're coming up, so it's going to be beautiful. I can't wait. And I sold these in dirt, and they're coming up beautifully. All right, guys? And, of course, my banana plant. So, like I, show you, I said, I want to show you the difference from this banana plant that's been sitting out here to the banana plant that's in my grow tent. Total difference, guys. Total difference. That will be another video, okay, guys? But total difference. And there is my orange plant right there. She's looking beautiful. She is growing nice. Uh, my blue iris, she came up beautiful. I don't know the name of these plants here, but uh, I don't think I want them anymore. I'm just going to keep them there for the summer. I forget what this one is coming up, but yes, this is my garden. And guys, my baby's cucumber bed coming up. I'm going to have to put more cucumbers down for him because I didn't notice any cucumbers coming up. They might be coming up. Not sure, but I didn't notice any. So I'm going to have to put some more down for the him. That's his bed. And back there, that is my compost bed. I'm loving my compost bed. It's looking marvelous. All right, guys. Alright guys, don't forget, let's grow together so we can eat together. <laughs> 